One last Justin Field. Let's actually talk about the Pittsburgh situation, though. Let's talk about Pittsburgh um, with the situation they've got over there. So, of course, we all know they signed Russell Wilson. Um, for like last week, I think it was, you know, pick him up on the waiver wire. And, of course, they traded for Justin now. Mike Tomlin called Justin Fields and said that Russ is going to be the starter. You're going to sit behind him. You're going to learn from him. And basically, there's no guarantee about whether or not Justin's going to play. My personal opinion I don't think Russell Wilson was a fan of that, to be fully honest. I think one thing we heard about Russell Wilson, that he's uh his, his teammates don't really like him. I don't think we heard that many good things from coaches either. We've seen this in Seattle and we saw that in Denver. So I believe he's not happy about Justin Fields being behind him. I think Justin Fields is somebody who uh, a lot of people in the locker room like him. And I wouldn't be wouldn't shock me if this locker rock room in Pittsburgh gravitates towards Justin more than they do Russell Wilson, and that, that, that can create kind of a animosity from Russell's part. He might not 100% show it, but I don't believe this is something where he is actually planning on teaching Justin anything. Um, and I do believe that Mike Tomlin will give him every opportunity. I think they're going to, unless he actually gets hurt, I don't see any way that he hits the field. Like, I don't think that Russell will be trash. He wasn't trash last year. You know, if it was anything, there was other reasons for why Denver was bad. I don't think it was mainly Russell Wilson more than anything. But I do think this situation is a good situation for Justin. Uh, we've also heard the Sports Illustrated report that Justin, uh, I mean, that they were trying to give, that they're going to give Russell Wilson a long-term extension at the end of the season. I don't think he will play well enough to get, like, a long-term extension. But I do believe that, they, unlike some other situations in the league, this is probably the, the door is somewhat cracked for Justin to be able to go out there and play and try to build something over there in uh, Pittsburgh, man. Uh, Courtney, what do you think about the new situation over there? Do you think this is something that Justin can learn? Or would, what are the chances do you think that we see him on the field next year? Um, I, I mean, I think the chances are relatively high of, of seeing him play. Um, I don't know how much Russ has left in the tank, to be completely honest. And I say that as um, a light-skinned quarterback enthusiast. Um, I don't, I, I don't know. I got to see how Russell plays, obviously. Um, I also know that even though I like him and I think he's a genuine person, I do know that maybe Russ's personality doesn't like mesh with everybody. Wasn't there some shit about like Marshawn Lynch, um, not even wanting to like get like, did they didn't even have each other's number right in Seattle. He like called Russ called him like on a private number to make sure that he didn't have his number. Um, so yeah, it's entirely possible that it could start some kind of weird quarterback controversy um, in the locker room. But honestly, I don't, I don't know if that'll be the case. I feel like Justin's probably going into this with the mindset that this is a fresh start for him. Uh, and I, I'm, I'm happy for the guy. Um, I need to get, I need to cop some Justin Fields. Y'all have turned me into a Justin Fields fan. I am so vehemently anti bears now that I have become a Justin Fields fan. So congratulations. Well done guys. Team effort. We love it. Go ahead. Dante. It. <laughs> uh, I think it's a great situation. I think for Pittsburgh overall, I took a flyer on Russ. It was cheap. You know, and if he can show some of that old Russ, then you, you know, you could, you'll definitely take that. But I, I think the, uh, the whole long-term contract, that doesn't make sense with the trade for Justin Fields. I think this is definitely a situation where you try to get the most out of you can for Russ, but I also think, Trading for Justin lets me know they don't think Russ has that much love. Like they they realize that this is a, a flyer. So you feel me? You have Justin as a backup who can go in there and make some plays and get shit done. And uh we haven't seen how they're gonna pick up Justin's option. Have they said anything about that yet? Uh, they got till May to decide that. So. Uh, they got till May to decide on that. But um I think for him, it's a per- is it like 20, 20, 25 million. million? Five million. I mean, so still cheap for a quarterback. Jones up yeah. there making 40 mil, man. I'm yeah, pretty sure they'll pick up the option. I'm pretty sure they'll pick up the I don't think they'd have right. the trade. They weren't gonna pick and, and, up. And, and I think he plays this year. I think he plays this year because I, I don't think Russ is gonna do too well. I, I don't know if he'll get to the uh 51% of the snaps we need to get that fourth round pick, mm-hmm. but I do think at some point Justin Field takes the field for the Steelers as the starter. He probably finished the season as a starter for the Steelers. Bang, what you think about what's going on in uh in Steel City? See, man, this is why I be not having conversations with folks, not y'all. But I don't be having conversations with folks because folks talk out of both sides of their ass. If you believe in Mike Tomlin and his coaching strategy, then Russell going to be okay. If you believe in it, everybody keeps saying how this is the best organization and the best coaching staff. No, it's the best head coach. 
But Matt Canada was the offensive coordinator for part of that year, and they wanted his ass up out of there. But Mike Tomlin was very loyal to this man, and he kept him until he couldn't keep him no more. They hired Arthur Smith. Now, Arthur Smith, you know, he was fairly decent in Tennessee with Ryan Tannehill and Derrick Henry. He went to Atlanta, and he shit the bed. He didn't even know how to use the, the pieces that he had. No, Kyle Pitts didn't even exist in this man's joint. Um, Bijan Robinson, he was on and off because of the plays that was getting called by who? Arthur Smith. Same Arthur Smith, who's now the offensive coordinator for the Pittsburgh Steelers. We keep talking like Mike Tomlin coaches offense. He does not. Because if Mike Tomlin coached offense, then they wouldn't even need Russell Wilson. Or Justin Fields, because Kenny Pickett would be a fairly decent quarterback and would have had way more success than he had, even though they won 10 games or he's never had a losing season. So if we're going to say all of this about Mike Tomlin and his coaching strategy and all of that stuff, then you have to say this. I don't see Justin getting on the field if we believe in Mike Tomlin and the coaching staff. You will literally have to say, nah, I don't necessarily believe in, 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 in all of those folks because Russell Wilson is still a borderline Hall of Fame quarterback. He had a fairly decent year considering what he was dealing with and going through with the Broncos and stuff. And it seems like the offense caters to him that's going to be with the Steelers organization. So he's going to have all of the tools to be successful, not one but two running backs. He got George Pickens over there. They need another wide receiver to take that place. But they always find a wide receiver with the Steelers that do well. So he will also have everything in place. So, you know, unless we don't believe in that offensive strategy that they have, that's when we feel like, okay, R Russell is too washed to deal with what's going on in Pittsburgh. I don't think that's the case. I think that Russell finds himself in a perfect situation. And I'm not so sure that Justin is going to get the tutelage that he needs to. Because this is also the same Russ that was like, yo, I think I could win two Super Bowls in the next four years. If he believes that, you think he about to teach his replacement? Hell no. Right. And I'll say this, uh, two things. One, if anybody thinks we got, like, uh, Mikey on punishment, because you see him in the chat. No, he's he, he's on the bench a little bit right now. He ain't feeling well. Hopefully he'll be joining us in a local while. It looks like he will be joining us in a local while. But I want you, Bang. Like, I, I, I don't think the only way I see Justin hitting the field this year is if Russ gets hurt. Russ has been pretty durable his entire career. So I don't think that I'll be – I don't think, like, even Russ, as bad as he played two years ago, like, Mike Tomlin in this organization, they stick with their plan. And if their plan is for him to sit behind him, they're going to give him every opportunity – to do that like i don't even last year they, they didn't even bench kenny pickett like they were gonna keep kenny pickett this year exactly if he didn't demand to get out so they're gonna stick to their plan um he says i look forward to seeing just the playoffs and that's another thing i think this team is gonna be i don't think it's gonna be a good team and right now they're gonna they're, they're gonna finish last in division baltimore is better than them cincinnati's better than them cleveland's better than them i don't think this is a, a, a good roster i'm not saying they can't they might be able to make the playoffs with a healthy joe burrow i don't think they will Oh. Until Freaky Sean, until Freaky Sean turns back into Deshaun Watson, well, see, he don't got to because they didn't. He didn't. He wasn't that last year. They still made the playoffs. You know, I think Jameis is a, is a solid backup. They got a great coaching staff. They got great defense. And they got a solid running game. So just off that, I think Cleveland is still a better team. I don't. I don't mm -hmm. think Freaky Sean gonna be good either. But I, I'm not putting. I'm not putting uh, Pittsburgh in the playoffs. I don't believe Russell Wilson like that. Then paper on his player haters old news money on the other line so i'm not gonna hold you money on the other line so i'm not gonna